Hey guys, Dr. Linda Kramer, thank you so much for being patient with me why I didn't do a tarot yesterday. But today is Monday and here we go with this week's tarot. Okay, now what I've started doing over the last couple of weeks is incorporating a movie that I've watched where it gives me like a message that we all need to hear, right? But this week I'm going to talk about my own personal experience. Now, we are all only human, exactly right. We're only DNA blubbers of protons, electrons and neutrons that make atoms that create through the Bose-Higgs this physical being that we see, right? So, we get stressed, we get anxious, we get insecurities occur, we want to create drama throughout emotions, okay? So this week, it's been heightened. It's everywhere. I don't know if you've noticed it, but everyone is like they're on edge. Me, with my throat situation, um, it put me on edge. I actually was sitting there thinking, should I make a will? Should I update my will? Should I get health insurance further coverage? Should I do this? Should I do that? Because it's made me aware that we are only mortal beings at the end of the day. Now, I don't want to scare you all because I've already pulled the cards for this week because I'm still trying to save my voice here, guys, okay? But we've got to be aware everything is happening the way it should everything does happen for a reason okay maybe they just wanted me to shut up for a few weeks huh someone actually said to me that this is somebody else attacking me because they don't want me saying what i talk about huh okay so we've got to always think of all those options when things do occur in our lives now the first one that i'm getting told to do today is actually the ruin stone so i've already pulled him out for today and the ruin stone that I've got is this guy. And he looks right here. This one, it says, it's mankind stone. It's called manas. Manas. Okay, it's the ruin of all humankind, both men and women. The symbol of interconnectedness, cooperation, equality, empathy, and inclusion. So straight away... What are you doing in your own world or what is it something that you need to look at so you do more of it to be humility, to be more sympathetic, understanding, compassionate to other people. At the end of the day, no one is above anyone else. We are all equal. Okay, so we've got four dot points here with this stone. The first one says, it is a reminder that we are all connected by common experiences. Second one, focus on bringing a positive attitude and energy to your relationships. Now, I think I've proven this week that the more positive we are, the less stressed and sick we actually do get. Okay? Be prepared to take advice. Huh? Now, isn't that interesting with another card I've just pulled out? And the last one says, be kind to all, including yourself, who's number one, always me, M-E, and bring love and support to all. Okay, I'm going to leave that there because I'll probably go back to him in a minute. Okay, so the next one, <clears throat> see my voice is still not good, guys. Okay, the next one, I've got the lovely Louise Benton range of cards. Okay, here's her card. If you do want to go to her website, the link is below. Okay, today we've got the beautiful artist, artistry drawing that she has done. And the card is Love Light. So I'll put it up here in case you do want to pause the screen and have a read for yourself. Okay. It's all right. My window's open. That was just my door shut, uh, shutting. Okay. So this is called Love Light. Each lifetime is a chance to learn and grow. It's only through experience you will know. The profound interconnectedness connectedness of all of existence the essence of you a timeless formless witness you hold the all-encompassing magic of creation a fractal of god's divine emanation so behold your divinity and let go of fear remember the truth and why you are here 
Now, if you do want to take my story this week as anything in this mix, how fearful do you think I have been this week knowing that something hasn't been right with me? You go for a scan and at 56 years old, it's not like going when you're a kid and they say, oh yeah, you're great. You know, I was absolutely petrified a few days this week. Okay? So behold your divinity and let go of fear. Remember the truth and why you are here. Always remember that path that we're on, guys, okay? Treasure these moments, the taste, sights, and sounds. Breathe in the air. Let your feet touch the ground. Now, I have been doing a lot of grounding this week. Walking on the grass, breathing in, and I bring in all what I want, and breathing out, I let go of everything I don't want. So I've been breathing in. I want health. I have health. I am happy and content that I have so much good health. And as I breathed out, get out of me all your negativity. I don't want to be negative. I'm so positive. Breathe in all that positivity. Okay? I've been doing that all week. So there's something that you may want to do, right? Within your own life. Okay. So embrace this experience with sublime contemplation as this story is expressed through you on behalf of creation. And down the bottom it says, I am a fractal of God's divine emanation. Wow, what a beautiful card. Okay, so what we're already getting to, guys, is we've got to realize that we all do have a life path. We all have signed up for what we're going through, okay? We are all on a learning curve. And ultimately, we've got to still show our humility and humanity to others the more we feel it the more we push it out of us and the more we share it with others the better place this is ultimately going to be so try not to use the h-a-t word h-a-t-e i hate that oh see and i just said i don't like that word at all so don't h-a-t-e others don't judge others why are you doing that for why are you doing that for don't do that Send them love and just say, I feel for you. I'm empathic to you. I com- I'm so compassionate that you're only doing what you think is the best option that you have. We're all on a learning curve. Some people are learning now what really is happening. Others, it's taking a lot of time, right? So we don't judge because everybody learns at different wavelengths, Okay. So the next one I've got here, oh, I'm going to go, oh, yes, okay, thank you. I was not going to do my book, but oh, she said, no, don't go with your little lovey-dovey card. Lovey-dovey card's next, okay. And this one says, love would ask for directions. So this is where, ask for directions. Look for your path. Talk to your spirit guides, your angels, your departed loved ones. Look within you and use your own gut intuition and say, what is in my higher good? This is what's coming this week, okay? Because the last card I've got today is the Eight of Pentacles. Here he is. And here it is in the book. Eight of Pentacles is on that side, okay? So let's have a read of what the Eight of Pentacles says. The Eight of Pentacles is often referred to as the Apprenticeship card. Now think of what an apprenticeship is. It's where we go. We've got all these dreams and goals of what we want to be, but we must rely on someone else to teach us what it is. Yes? Okay? It can signify learning a new skill or profession. As such, it frequently shows up when there is an offer of new employment or taking a new position. It can also show entrance into a learning establishment such as a university or college or even part-time study. Quite often the Eight of Pentacles indicates that existing talents can be used to create a venture that will bring financial gains. Yay! So it's actually a really good card, right? This may be an interest, hobby or additional ability that you are not currently using to its full potential. Wow! So what this is saying is it's actually been the patience game. We all want a million dollars. But we've got to be patient and work towards that goal. So that's what it's saying. This is the cards this week, guys. Remember, think about what it is that you ultimately want to be. 
Who are you and what is it that you want others to say, oh, look at Linda, she's a... What am I? So ask yourself, what am I? What do people... You know, if you're at a party and you meet new strangers and you say, oh, hi, I'm Linda, I'm here today, yeah, I'm meeting new friends, I'm a... What am I? What do you tell people that you do? What do you people... What do you tell people that you strive to be? And then you look at that and you say to yourself, am I now in a position where I can make that dream occur? Can I bring that into my reality? And is this something that I can feasibly sustain in this one lifetime? I hope that you're answering yes. I hope you've liked today's lesson. Well, it is a lesson. Hello. So go out there and make it all happen because this is our week when good energy is throwing us some favors but use that patience because it's all not just going to be given to us in one hit right so just be aware that they are watching hope you all have a good week talk to you all soon bye